there's no denying it, the Lachine Canal is gorgeous. It's no wonder thousands of cyclists can be found gliding along its bike path every summer. Lachine itself is where a lot of these cyclists end up, stopping to enjoy the sweeping views, the historical sights, and maybe even an ice cream. Away from the Lachine waterfront, only a few minutes walk in fact, is a bustling little community that might never have come up on your radar. Here, only a few steps away on Notre Dame Street, is a good example of a Lachine secret that you never knew you never knew. Montreal's oldest public market. This is a public market, it's not a supermarket. Um, the producers who sell here, they're, they're local growers, aren't yes. they? What is the value of that to a community? How does it add to community cohesion? Well, people, first of all, people, people like to know who they're buying from. And when they come here, they often meet their neighbors, they meet their friends, they're, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, and there's a sense of well-being. It's the oldest market on the island of Montreal. Incredible. It was built in 1909, but this is not its original location. It burnt twice. Twice. <laughs> twice. And now it, it has been here since 1909. We're here on the opening weekend of the summer season. Yes. It's right at the beginning of May right now. It's still a little bit chilly. Yeah. So the market's just getting started with uh, some flowers, some herbs. But as the season goes on, there's going to be more here, isn't there? Yes, they sell veg all kinds of vegetables. And you know, it's, and it's, very, it's something that is very, very um, welcome because in this area, it's called kind of a, a desert, a food desert, because we just have depanneurs, yep. but no, no real, you know, fresh. you can't buy any fresh produce. So this is the only place. Yep. So, you know, if you're making a soup and you're missing your tomato, well, you know, you can run to the market and get it at a good yeah. price yeah. and it's always fresh. Right now it's the beginning of spring and for Lachiners spring begins when they can come and buy earth and compost and their flowers at the market yes. to, start their, to start their gardens for the season. And it ends when we see the pumpkins and the chrysanthemums. And then this market is special because in, at, during Christmas time, there's a local organization for youth that sell Christmas trees here. Yes, I've heard So about most that. of the Sheeners come here to buy their trees and they support the youth organization at the same time. As Maya Vadanovich told me, the market has been in its current location since 1909, but it's actually been in existence since 1845, just in another location. I spoke to a member of the local historical society about the market's past. Would you call yourself a Montrealer? No. I would call myself a Lachiner. Interesting, yeah. A Lachine was, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The market was established in 1845 uh, in Lachine, which was a village at the time mm -hmm. of 1,100 people only. And it was established not where we are today, but on the site of today's Borough Hall, which is by the Lachine Canal by the St. Lawrence River. The reason it was established there was because that was the commercial road and all traffic came by boat or by the Queen's Highway, which is St. Joseph Boulevard. I get the sense that it's been, um, it's been heavily fought for over the years. It's had a few obstacles to overcome. Can you give us an overview of what this market has had to come back against over the years? Well, fire for, for sure. The first market burnt down around 1866. And then we went 40 plus years with no physical market location. You sent me that fascinating little news article, 1907, a local writer writing in a local newspaper. Can you tell us a bit about that article and what it shows us about the, the passion in the community to have their own public market? So that was from a local paper, Le Progrès, I believe it was, in 1907. I think it was a bit of accumulation of years of pressure and writings to try and get the elected councillors to vote the money to build another market. And I think they were at the end of their rope at this point. And I think the quote in that article was, there has to be a market for everyone, pour les pauvres, pour les riches, but most of all, for the worker, pour l'ouvrier. So Lachine at that point was expanding wildly with lots of industry, Dominion Bridge, Dominion Engineering, big metallurgy companies, there was a steel company. So I mean, there was thousands of workers here. Lachine was growing and there had to be a better place for them to buy food that they could choose their own food and, and come in and choose from 
hopefully like 10 farmers rather than the one person that happened to go up their street with the wagon or the barrow. Yes, exactly. What place do you think this, this market has in the local community? Well, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have the market. I mean, I don't like to, I don't like to add to the carbon footprint so I can, if I'm picking up things, I do drive down. I'm about two kilometers away from the market, but I feel so blessed that I can come here and get my earth for my garden and my seedlings for my garden and my flowers to put in. And then once the food comes in, I mean, there's nothing better. I mean, I, I'm so proud that I can come down here and, and buy, for me, my favorite meal is yellow beans, corn on the cob, and new potatoes. So in the fall, I could eat that every day and I could come every day and get them fresh. Like, I'm so fortunate that it's not far from my home. Je vends des fleurs, des plants de légumes, des épices, de la terre pour le moment. Et vers le 15 juin, nous devrions commencer avec fruits et légumes, les fraises, les tomates. On cherche toujours à attendre qu'il y ait plus de produits du Québec d'ici. Sinon, on commence vers l'entour du 15 au 20 juin avec à peu près de tout. À ce temps ici de l'année, c'est de la terre, le fumier, le peat moss. On vend la vivace, on vend des plants de légumes, même s'il est un petit peu trop de bonheur. Mais on vend des épices. Puis cette semaine, on va rentrer des, des plantes d'accompagnement, ce qui veut dire genre le géranium, les vignes, les jardinières. Êtes-vous fier du marché? Très. Oui? Très. Euh, C'est un métier que je ne pourrais pas faire si je le faisais pas. Euh, je n'irais pas le faire pour quelqu'un d'autre. C'est très demandant, c'est très exigeant, mais c'est le plaisir d'être là-dedans à journée longue. J'ai passé la semaine avec rien, juste de la terre. Je m'amusais à peinturer, à préparer mon marché, chose que ça faisait longtemps que j'avais pas fait. Et euh, j'étais très, très contente d'être ici. T'entendais le monde parler. Bienvenue, bon retour. C'est gros ça, c'est gros pour moi. C'est ma vie ça, le public, le monde. C'est ma vie, l'explication, une plante. Il n'y a pas personne qui va partir d'ici sans avoir l'explication ou qu'est-ce qu'ils font avec ou quoi que ce soit. C'est un service qu'on a. Il y a une a. relation entre Oui, beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup. Oui. On a beaucoup de soutien par de plusieurs clients. Et euh, que ce soit jeune ou vieux, on a toutes les âges. C'est un plaisir de venir ici. J'aime beaucoup la, la chaîne.